Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this very simple sequence one by n, and we have to prove that that sequence converges to zero in R D U. D U means a usual matrix. D of x y is equal to mod x minus y. So this sequence is convergent in R D U, but it is not convergent in with different matrix space zero comma one with the same usual matrix. The matrix is same, just set is different. Here we have R set of real numbers, and we here we have simply that open interval zero comma one. Okay, so let us start to prove. Let me mention to prove that sequence. What is our sequence? One by n converges to zero in R D U with a usual distance. Okay, so we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. Let me write here. Can you tell me what is the definition of convergent sequence? D of x n x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So this is epsilon definition. The same definition I am going to use to solve this problem. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than zero be given any arbitrary positive. Uh, epsilon, I have taken, be given, right? So for this epsilon, we have to find capital N, this capital N for which this definition will be satisfied. So for that, we need to do some calculations first. I will find d of x and x, uh, and after that, we will decide what should be our n. Let us find. Consider d of x and x. So here d is a usual matrix, so that's why it is defined in this way. D of x n minus x. X is zero, no sequence converges to zero. So x n minus zero. So x n minus zero is obviously x n. What is our x n? Sequence x n is one by n. So mod one by n. See one by n is a positive real number, a uh, positive real number. So that's why n is a natural number. Now that's why no need to apply mod. There is no any minus sign, and we will have same. One by n. Okay, I will call it as one. So we solved it and we found its value is one by n. So now we have to choose capital n. Okay, uh, let me write here. We have a space. Let us use. Okay, during the selection of capital n, we use Archimedean property. Let me write by Archimedean property. Archimedean property. See this property says, uh, if you have any real number, definitely we can find a natural number greater than that real number. So we can write there exist a natural number n such that it is greater than the given real number. So now we have to select a suitable real number for which we will have n greater than that. Uh, I need to do some rough calculation. I will do the calculation here. We have to prove this part. Its value we have already calculated, which is one by n. I have to prove that this is one by n. I should prove this is less than epsilon. I will do rough calculation. I will interchange them. So one upon epsilon less than n. So my real number should be one upon epsilon. I am taking here. It is one upon epsilon. So in this way, I have selected capital n. One upon epsilon is a real number, so Archimedean property says there exists a natural number greater than that. Let us interchange them. Let me remove this part. Let us interchange. If you interchange, we will have one by capital N less than epsilon. This is two. See, in a definition of convergent sequence, at the end we write. n greater than or equal to capital n so that that inequality we should consider consider n greater than or equal to capital n but that capital n we have in denominator so i will take reciprocal of both sides if you take reciprocal inequality will get change this is 3 so can you guess my next step see now we have three inequality two inequalities and this equation so Let us combine from one, two, and three. So d of x n comma zero, we got its value one by n. 
but 1 by n less than or equal to 1 by capital N but 1 by capital N is less than epsilon and all these are true for this n greater than or equal to capital N. A less than B, B less than C, then we say A less than C. So therefore, D of xn comma 0 less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. This is definition of convergent sequence we got, right? So therefore, we can say that sequence xn, which is nothing but 1 by n, converges to what? 0 in R D U. That means usual distance. So the first part is done. We proved the sequence 1 by n converges to 0 in R D U. Now we have to prove it is not convergent in that open interval 0 1 with same usual matrix. Okay. See, but, but let me write that sequence 1 by n converges to what? 0. Just now we proved but 0 does not belong to open interval 0, 1. I hope you know the meaning of open interval. Open interval means what? You can take all points between these two points, but n points are not included in a set. That means 0 is not present in a set as well as 1 is also not present in a set, but all points between these two points lie in a set. So 0 does not belong to this open interval, therefore, 1 by n is not convergent in open interval 0 1 okay so in this way we solve this example uh, make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you